Hello everyone, welcome COP to your 2021 organization retreat. My name is Tiffany C. Wright. Folks, just call me C. Wright. I am the Director of Leadership and Engagement in the Office of Leadership and Civic Engagement. We are located in the Student Center in Suite 348. And I am privileged to come to speak to you all today um, at your retreat to talk about managing your plate. So, just wondering, are you already feeling like you've put too much on your plate? Um, have you already stacked a whole bunch of things and kind of feeling overwhelmed? Um, we all have done that, right? We've all had that time where we put too much on and now we just don't know what to do. We don't know how to get started. We're looking at it. We're feeling overwhelmed. Um, so I just want to talk to you for a few minutes today to kind of help you start get planned, start planning um, how you move forward with a plate that is already overflowing. So this session is about managing your plate, but I want you to think about managing your plate responsibly. Right now you already have all these things you've committed to, you've obligated yourself to, um, and I want you to think about how do you manage it responsibly. You can't just say, I ain't doing the work, I'm not going to do this, I don't want to do that. You can't really just do that. You have to really start thinking about um, managing, navigating the systems, navigating um, your, your resources, leveraging your skills, leveraging um, your relationships to make sure that things get done because people are depending on you. You all have committed, you all have said this is what you want to do and so I'm just here to give you a few tips to help you get started um, to start thinking about how do we do a deep dive on this plate that is already overflowing with a lot of obligations, a lot of responsibilities. The first thing you have to keep in mind, and you probably already did this, but y'all have got to stop letting people build your plate. You know how you go to the cookout and folks say, oh baby, you want me to make your plate for you? My auntie, honey, when I say she will put everything on the plate, whether I like it or not, she's going to put everything on the plate for me to digest. Now I'm a big girl. But that don't mean I want everything all at once, right? And so she keeps on piling all this stuff and then she brings the plate. And then if I don't eat it, I'm messing over the food. I'm wasting food. I'm, I'm disrespectful. Um, there's always going to be an issue. Baby, what's wrong? You sick? You this? You that? Right? Um, but we have to start when we're managing our lives and managing our responsibilities, managing our obligations. We have to stop letting people do that for us. Stop dictating to us what is priority, um, what we should be doing. We need to make our own plates. From here on out, that's what you're gonna do. Make your own plate, okay? So let's jump deeper into this. First, before you even think about managing your plate, before you even think about sitting down to eat, you have to think about what utensils you need, right? And so I have a few utensils that I want you to think about. Y'all know it's an app for everything, right? Because you know it's an app for everything, you have more resources than I had when I was coming through, um, matriculating through college, taking on all these responsibilities, because I too over, overwhelmed my plate, right? So you have to think about what are some of the utensils you need to manage your plate. You have to get a planner, a calendar, right? Um, planners, calendars help for you to lay out everything, lay out everything so you can see it. Right? On your plate, you don't want everything piled on top of each other because then you don't know um, what you have, right? And then it starts to mix up and then things start getting all discombobulated and now this take you don't know what this really tastes like. You can't really taste this. You can't really take the time and energy to give attention to one thing because it's all running together. Get a planner so you can lay out your plan, lay out the things that you need to get done, okay? Also, let's go ahead and start setting reminders, notifications. Everything got a reminder button, got a notification button. Let's go ahead and start using those, right? That'll keep you in check, letting you know when things need to be done, how you need to get it done. Not so much how you need to get it done, but that it's coming up planning, right? It'll help you plan better for the things that are on your plate. Um, task manager. There's an app for that right you can put in on this app certain tasks that you need to get done by a certain date um, how it needs to be done the different dimensions of it, the different things that have to be done leading up to that task to the major task go ahead and start using a task manager again there's an app for everything okay 
note taking app. So many times I get students coming in the space and we're talking about things we got to get done. I got my e-boards coming in. I got my fellows coming in, um, trying to plan major things for the campus. And you know what? We're sitting around talking about all these great things. We brainstorming. We're doing this. But you know what we're not doing? We're not taking notes, right? So get you an app um, for taking notes because that's something that's necessary. So it'll keep you on track. And you can go back and make sure that you're doing the things that you need to do um, to make sure that you're handling all your responsibilities. All right. So the first thing I want you to think about when you're managing all of this, right? I want you to think about getting started. So many times we see all these things sitting on our plate and we're trying to figure out, I'm overwhelmed, I don't even know what to do. I start hyperventilating, I start sweating, all this stuff is going on, racing through my mind, I don't even know where to start, right? Start. That's the key. You got to start. You got to take something off the plate, right? You got to make room, right? Either you take it off and set it aside or you take it off and you handle it. You go ahead and focus on it. You get it done, right? But you have to start. You cannot let that overwhelming looking plate, all of the stuff on your plate, um, take over your mind, take over your anxiety, take over um, you moving and getting things done, take over your progression, right? You got to get started, you guys. Please, please, please just get started. I know it looks overwhelming, but if once you start digesting things and you start putting things away, packing up stuff for a later date, right, it becomes more manageable. So just start. You got to start somewhere, okay? Prioritize. Y'all got to start prioritizing your responsibilities, your obligations. Um, you got to start looking at things. What needs to come first? What's due now? What do I have to get done? What are the things that I should get done? And then what are the things that just need to be done, right? Go ahead and prioritize. And prioritize, prioritize it just like that. What has to get done, what I should be doing, and what I need to do right and then you can shift those things and kind of figure out once you start taking things out of these different categories maybe they shift to another category maybe the things that I need to get done now become things that I should get done because now it becomes a behavior it becomes in my routine and so now it's not so overwhelming because I'm not at the place where it's very crucial where I have to get it done right go ahead and start prioritizing y'all have to start thinking about things in priority Another thing we have a tough time, um, a tough, a tough thing, um, kind of concept, right, um, to break down is asking for help. That is a big thing. That's a big thing even at my age, asking for help. Because one, I want it done. I want it done right. I know it's got to be done. It's a lot that I got to do. It's overwhelming, but I got to get it done. And I don't, I can't trust everyone around me to do it the way I would do it, right? Ask for help. You all should have already built a team or at least had retreats and, and different things to help manage the team, to help team build, to help build trust, all of that stuff, right? You should already know the skill sets that are at the table, the talents that are at the table. Now you need to ask for help, right? Sometimes you have to ask for help from your advisor. It may be some things that, you know, other students on your board can't handle and you need someone else to come in and kind of help you. It may be that the team um, the development of the team, maybe that's the issue. Maybe you need help managing that so that you can get to the task at hand. But at the end of the day, ask for help if you want to truly manage your plate. Learn the art of strategic delegation, right? So when asking for help, if you have not built a, a team that you can trust and you know their skill sets, that's what you need to start doing first. Team build, figure out who's at the table, figure out what they bring to the table, start leveraging those skill sets so that you can figure out what things can be delegated and to whom they can be delegated to, right? Um, but strategic delegation is really looking at the people that you're working with, um, considering their skill sets, considering their talents, considering what they bring to the table, and strategically delegating certain things to them because you know they're going to master it. You know they got that strength. You know that they're going to make it happen. Then you know that it's going to continue to move your organization forward. Strategic delegation, that is key. You have to learn the art of doing that. Focus on a few things at a time. When you are looking at your plate and there's all this stuff on your plate, you can't look at it as, I got to be a cookie monster and eat everything right now. I got to eat a little of this, eat a little bit of this, eat a little bit of 
you got to take time to really process and digest the things that you're doing, right? It's, and, and that will help you do it well. What you can't do is just keep stuff in your face, keep stuff in your face. And now you're full. Now you don't even, and, and, you're full, and your plate's still full, right? And now what are you going to do? Focus on a few things. Maybe you, maybe you look at a few things at a time, eat a few things at a time, handle a few things at a time, and then you get to the rest of your plate right and you work your way you got to look at it with a strategy right work your way around your plate but it has to be done everything has to be done you just got to figure out what works for your situation and all of these things will work um, but some of them are situational and you have to figure out which situation works best for you at this particular time in managing your plate learn how to negotiate so many times we don't negotiate our talents our time, our responsibilities, our um, obligations, our skill sets. We just allow people to take, 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 dictate, 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 and we don't negotiate. Learn how to negotiate your time and your skill sets. You can't do everything. You can't be everything for everyone. Negotiate your time. Negotiate your skills. Again, that goes hand in hand with um, strategic delegation. It goes hand in hand with asking for help. It goes hand in hand with all of the things we're talking about today. Negotiate your time. Um, so in, in, my, in my position, sometimes I, my boss will say, see, right, I need this and I need this. And you know you got this and you know you got that. And I'll say, okay, okay, boss lady, let's sit and talk. I know I have all these things and I'm going to get to all of them. But let me negotiate with you what's priority. Let me negotiate with you when certain things can be done and what's feasible for me. Because at this point, I have a lot on my plate and I know you need what you need. So let's, let's sit down and negotiate what can work best for both of us. How can we both benefit and get all these things done? So it may not be that I can get this particular report to you, but I know that I can get this to you. I may have to get this other item to you next week. Um, because I have a presentation to do, I have this to do, and so let's negotiate. What do you need right now and what can wait? Right? That's how you start negotiating your time. You have to negotiate your skills too, your talents, right? Because people will continue to put more on your plate than you can bear, right? And so, again, that goes back to the first thing I, I stated. Stop letting other people make your plate right? This is your plate. You know what your body can handle. You know what you like. So let's make sure that we're negotiating because you're the only person that will work in your best interest. Okay? Take the time to regroup. Sometimes you have to push away from the table and say, you know what? Let's pause, right? Let me stop right now and let me regroup because I just need to catch my breath sometimes. If that happens to see right. I just need to catch my breath sometimes. Students will tell you all day long, see right, we'll close that door in a minute and just get herself together, right? Because we always got a lot going on. We are moving fast over here. There's so much to do, so many groups. Take the time to regroup, look at your plate, and figure out what can be digested right now, okay? Because if you don't take the time to regroup, you may not be able to fully um, fully live in the, in the moment of this process that you're going through, this process of the things that, that you are experiencing in your position, right? You should be getting something out of this, not just work, 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 work. You should be developing. You should be taking in these experiences and really saying, wow, like I took this project from here and brought it here. Like you, that's the time when you sit down and you say, wow, like that was growth. Cause a lot of things we start, we don't grow from because we didn't properly digest it. We just keep on doing and doing and doing and we never see the growth and we can't articulate the growth and development, right? But if you take the time to regroup, that's your time to reflect and say, you know what? I did that darn thing. Or you know what? See, right, you got to step it up. You failing. You, 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 you know, you're not doing your best. So let's look at this plate a little different. Okay. Learn to say no. We always hear that, learn to say no, but there is a way to say no, right? You can say no, that's not for me. However, please consider this person because they are good at X, Y, Z. They can do X, Y, Z. No, that's not for my organization, but let me hook you up and let me connect you with the organization that will best suit, be suited for what you're trying to do, 
right? You never just want to be rude and be like, nah, I ain't doing that. No, nah, now, nah, we ain't going there. No, mm-mm. You never want to be that person. You always want to be the person that says, not, not, this, this is not for me, but give a suggestion on how they can get it done, right? That is what a leader does. A leader don't just say no. A leader gives solutions, alternative solutions to the no, okay? Take the time to take care of yourself. Right? So I already told you to push away from the table, regroup, reflect, right? Sometimes you got to get up from the table and say, you know what? Let me go over here and get myself together. Let me go uh, watch a little TV. Let me do this. Let me do that. Let me just take care of myself. Y'all, you have to protect yourselves. You have to protect your mental, your spiritual, your physical. Take time for yourself. That means sleep, right? Getting enough sleep. That means um getting enough exercise that means eating the proper things putting the proper things on your plate that is nutritional for you right that means taking care of yourself holistically taking care of yourself so that you can be whole for the work that's at hand for the task that you have to do nobody wants a half person nobody wants a quarter person we want the whole you right and you're not going to be able to fully develop if you're just giving pieces of yourself. If, if that's all that you can give is just pieces of yourself. So if you take care of yourself and you stay whole, I promise you when you sit at the table, you'll look at your plate a little different. Okay? Plan. All I can do is continue to reiterate, you have to plan. Right? When I look at my plate at the cookout, I say, okay, it's a big mama jamma. So let me see. I'm going to start with my hot dog over here. Then I'm going to work over here to my salad because that rough it should get that hot dog moving on through. Then I'm going to go over here and I need to get me a little sip. But I can't drink too much of it because, you know, water will fill you all the way up. So let me just get a little bitty sip. Now, if I get too full, I might not get my dessert. So let me go over here and go on and eat my cake because, you know what, I don't want to leave my cake behind. People do that, right? You have to look at your plate and you have to plan. And you have that right to plan. Again, we're not letting other people make our plates. We are making our own plates. And so planning comes with that. Look at your plate. Look at all the things you have to do. All the things that seem overwhelming. And plan how to digest it the way that fits best for you. If fits best for your time, your energy, your spirit, your talents, your skills. What fits for you? Not for everyone else that's got things to do. Not for everyone else that's asking of you. What works for you? Because you can only digest your plate. Another thing we don't do is we don't remove the non-essential task, right? There are some things that's on that plate that ain't even for you. We got to stop taking things that ain't for us, right? There are some things that ain't that important. There are some things that don't need to be done. There are some things we're going to put on the plate or let other people put on the plate that's just nonsense, really, right? And it's just because. Take all that busy task off of your plate, right? Because you got some real work to do. All of you have joined these organizations that have these amazing missions, these amazing purposes, these amazing visions, right? All of these organizations were created to better this campus, to elevate this campus and the students that live here, the students that, that you serve, right? But you can't serve them with nonsense. You can't serve them with busy stuff, right? Now, I'm not talking about the fun stuff because we always got to add a little fun in there. Because you know what? I want my sprinkled donut on my plate, right? But the stuff that's nonsense, the stuff that don't even matter, the things you don't need. Um, I don't think they up there anymore, but them little cookies. I don't need them little cookies. I don't even like them little cookies, right? Take them cookies off your plate. So that you can fit something in there that you can really enjoy that will really benefit your organization as well as yourself and your campus. Celebrate your small wins, right? As you're working and managing your plate, celebrate your small wins. Celebrate yourself. So many times we move and shake and don't celebrate ourselves, don't celebrate the things that we've accomplished, don't celebrate our growth, don't celebrate our, um, our, our, our mission, our, our, our fulfillment in our, in our purpose. We don't even take the time because one, we didn't regroup to think about it, right? And then we look at it as we're just checking off tasks, we're just checking off things off of our list, right? Celebrate progression. Celebrate that 
all of your team still whole, y'all still like each other, y'all still moving, y'all still effective, y'all still mission driven, y'all still purpose driven, celebrate those small things because that will make you look at your plate and say, you know what? This ain't in vain. All of this stuff is well worth it because I'm in a good space right now because I'm celebrating some very victorious things that some other groups are struggling with, right? Other groups may be struggling, but because you've learned to manage your plate, you've learned to celebrate the small wins, you've learned to celebrate progression, you've learned to celebrate yourself, it's all worth it, okay? Stop stressing. I ain't going to do too much with that one. Stop stressing. I promise you, if you live to see the next day, you still got time to work on your plate. If you live to see another day, you got time to work on your plate. So don't stress about it, right? If you're stressing about it, you haven't done all these other things that I've told you to do to manage your plate. Okay? There's no use in stress, and stressing ain't gonna do nothing but make you frustrated, make the people around you frustrated, stress your body out. Then you're gonna start gaining weight, you're gonna start having migraines, you're gonna start hyperventilating. You're doing all this stuff for what? At the end of the day, if you gotta remove it, remove it. If you no longer can fit it on your plate, if you no longer can manage it on your plate, remove it. If it's gonna stress you out, remove it some kind of way right? Consider the other things that I've talked about, about managing your plate, and you won't stress. Last, you have to think about this. We get these plates and everything's piled up on these plates and we sit at a meal, right? Break things up. You don't have to eat everything all at once, right? When I go to the cookout, I'm going to make me a little small plate over here. Then I'm going to go get, I'm already know what my to-go plate look like, right? And I already know what my, my dessert plate look like. You don't have to do all things all at once. Break things up. Put them in their place, right? So that you can digest it better. Get you a breakfast plate. Get you a lunch plate. Get you a dinner plate. Don't do this one meal a day thing and pile everything on at once. Break the stuff up. You are the only person that's in control of your plate. The only way you're not in control of your plate is if you allow somebody else, if you give your plate to somebody else for them to control. Right? You don't have to do everything. You don't have to keep stacking. You don't have to keep piling up. You don't have to do everything all at, at once. Right? There are some things you, that need to be done because of the position that you have decided to serve in. But everything don't have to be done at one time. Break your place up. Go get you some more plates. You ain't got to put it all on one plate. Get you some more plates and situate those plates so that you can digest your food better. The last thing I'll leave you with is a quote. Responsibility. Remember earlier in this presentation I told you that I'm going to teach you how to manage your plate responsibly? Responsibility finds a way. Irresponsibility makes excuses. You don't want to be the person that's always making excuses for not being effective, for not managing their time, not managing their plate, not fulfilling their obligation, not walking in their purpose, not doing, not this, not that. You don't want to be the person that's always got a reason why. Well, I had class. We all got class. Well, I had work. We all working. Well, I had to go to the dentist. We all got teeth. <laughs> well, I had to go and take walk my dog. I'm scared of dogs. So I ain't had no dog, but I got to do something, right? We all got stuff that we have to do, right? That's no excuse because life ain't about excuses, right? We all have obligations. It's your job to fulfill them.